so hello guys in this video we are going to solve this problem so in this problem it is given that in figure the angle ACH is 30 degree and angle BCH is 45 degree so this is the angle ACH and it is 30 degree and this is the angle BCH which is 45 degree angle CAD is equal to the angle HAD so this is the angle CAD and it is equal to the angle HAD circumcircle of the triangle has a radius of 1 cm so let's see capital R is the circumcircle radius and it is 1 cm so this is the circumcircle that passes through all the points of the triangle and the radius of this circumcircle is 1 cm then we have to find the area of uh, this BDS triangle which is this blue area so we have to find the area of this thing so let's see how we can solve this so you see this figure in this figure let's consider bh is equal to x so let's consider this is equal to x then in the problem it is given that this angle ach is 30 degree so this angle is 30 degree given in the problem angle bch is 45 so this angle is 45 we know this angle chb is 90 degree we know this angle is 90 degree angle uh, cbh is uh, uh, 45 because this angle is 90 degree and the angle BCH is also 45 so this angle will be 45 because in the uh, right angle triangle sum of all three angles are 180 so if this is 90 and this is given in the problem as 45 so the remaining angle is 45 so this angle CBH is 45 so from here we can say that this CBH is an isosceles triangle because this angle and this angle are same so this side is X so this side is also X so this angle C, uh, C, uh, uh, so this triangle CBH is an isosceles triangle. So if this is X, this is also X. And this angle is 45, so this angle is also 45. So now we know these things. So let's proceed further. So now you consider uh, the angle ECH. So uh, this angle is given in the problem as 30 degree. So uh, this is AH and this side we know as X. So we can write 1030 as AH divided by CH. AH value we can calculate as CH multiplied by 1030. CH we calculated uh, as equal to X and 1030 is 1 by root 3. So this is uh, X by root 3. So AH value will come as X by root 3. So now we know this AH value as X by root 3. And uh, now you see this angle is 90 degree. This angle we calculated as 45. This is 30 and this is 45. So what is this whole angle? This whole angle is 75. So if this is 75, this is 45. This whole angle is 60 degree. Because uh, in the triangle, some of the angles is 180 degree. So we can easily find this angle as 60 degree. Because this angle C is 75 and this is 45. So this is 60 degree. We can easily find out. Now in the problem you see it is also given that this angle CAD is equal to the angle HAD. So this angle is equal to this angle. So now we know uh, the whole angle as 60 degree. So this whole angle is 60 degree we know. So uh, if uh, both are angles equal then it will equal to 30 degree and this will also equal to 30 degree. And we can uh, find out uh, this DH value because we know this AH as X by root 3. So we can find the DH as AH multiplied by 1030. AH is X by root 3 and 1030 is also 1 by root 3. So this DH will come as X by 3. Now we know the DH value. Now we know this DH value as X by uh, uh, 3 and this is X by root 3. So uh, now we also know the radius of the circumcircle as 1 cm. So uh, we know the sign rule which is 2 times radius of the circumcircle is AB. AB is this C, uh, side and the opposite angle is C. So sine of angle C. BC. BC is this side and opposite angle is this A. So sine of angle A and CA divided by sine of angle B. CA is this side and opposite angle is this B. So now you took these two things. So you can write 2 times 1 R is the radius of the uh, circumcircle and this is angle C and this is AB. So now we can write AB as this AH plus HB. AH value is X by root 3 and this value is X. So the it will become like X plus X by root 3 which is root 3 plus 1 by root 3 divided by X. So this is the AB value. So AB value I put like root 3 plus 1 times X divided by root 3 
and uh, this angle we know this angle is uh, this is 45 this is 30 so the total angle we know it is 75 so in the denominator it will become like sine of 75 and here it is 2 times 1 which is equal to 2 so from here you can calculate the sine for uh, 75 as sine 45 plus 30 so you can apply sine a cos b plus cos a sine b so sine 45 and cos 30 and cos 45 and sine 30 so it will become like root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. So now you also know the sin 75 value. So you can put sin 75 value here root 3 plus 1 by 2 root 2. So this root 3 plus 1 and this root 3 plus 1 cancels. This 2 rows, this 2 row, uh, root 2 will go to upper side and here it is x and here it is root 3 and here it is 2. So uh, this 2 and 2 cancel and x value will come as root 3 by root 2. So you can uh, apply uh, by uh, root 2 in the numerator and denominator. So this will uh, become as root 6 and in the denominator we have 2. So this is the value of x. Now we know the value of x. We can calculate the area of the triangle is half times this uh, dh multiplied by this bh. bh we know has a value of x and dh we know has a value of x by 3. Just we calculated previously. So this is x by 3 times x which is x square by 6. x we calculated as root 6 by 2. So it will become like 6 divided by 4 multiplied by 6. So this 6 and 6 cancel and uh, the triangle area will come as 1 by 4 centimeter square. So in this way we can find out the area of the triangle.